This is the cardiac arrest management skill. First, I want to make sure that I have on my BSI, my gloves, and my safety glasses, and the scene is safe. Next, as I'm approaching the scene, I'm going to ask bystanders or onlookers if they've seen anything or what happened, and then I'm going to approach my patient. Sir, wake up, sir. No response to tap or shout. Trap squeeze, no response. Hey, partner, get an AED and call ALS. Then I'm going to get down at the level of the patient, and I'm going to count pulse and breathing no more than five to ten seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. There's no pulse or no breathing, so I'm going to find the xiphoid process, place my hand over the sternum, other hand over the top, and I'll lock my arms, and I'll give 30 compressions, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and provide two ventilations, one second each. And we can continue this process for two minutes. And at that two minute mark, my partner's gonna return. I'm gonna stop doing my compressions and I'm going to check pulse and breathing one more time. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Patient is still pulses and apneic. Have my partner take over compressions and ventilations. I turn on the AED, turn on the device, attach the pads. Connect electrode. Push analyze. So I'm staying clear. I'm going to analyze now. Stand clear. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Shock advised. Okay, shock advised. Everyone clear. I'm clear. We're all clear. Talking now. To shock. Please get back on the chest and continue compressions. Start CPR. You're done with the skill.